Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this week I have a pieces of fall design. I guess that's what I'm going to call this one. It's really cool looking and it's fun to do. But it does require a little bit of, I'd say either intermittent or advanced skills. With that being said, let's get on into it to see how it's done. Like we always do, we're going to start off with a base coat to protect our natural nails. Now once the base coat is dry, we're going to put down our base color. Now I can talk about the stamping a little bit. You don't have to use this plate. This is just a plate I grabbed from my collection. It's What's Up Nails B021. I've used this one before. It's one that has a bunch of leaves and fall images like foxes and little hedgehogs, apples. But I just grabbed one out of my collection that had leaves on it. And this is the first one I saw, so I grabbed it. So we're going to be using this image right here. And I already stamped it because I, re I reverse stamped it. So I stamped it off camera to save time in this video. Here's what it looks like. And we're going to be stamping it right here. While my middle finger nail is drying, I'm going to show you what I did on my index finger and my ring finger, which I used the same image like I showed you. And now I'm going to be taking a black polish. Cutting the image essentially in half. And now I'm going to fill it in. Once everything is dry, we're going to seal our design in with a glossy quick dry top coat. Here's the final look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me know you like my videos. If you see a big red subscribe button down below, that means you're not subscribed to my channel, so be sure to hit that and subscribe. Fun fact, almost 75% of my views are from non-subscribers. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. After you're done subscribing, be sure to turn on the post notification bell so you get notified when a video goes up so you never miss a video. Another perk of subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, leave a comment for what you'd like to see next or any comment, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!